He's a teenage boy. He's a teenage boy who pointed his finger at my son's head and mentioned the exact gun he would use on him. I'm sorry, you asked me to let you handle this, and I, I can't help but notice that he threatened my son with the exact same gun that you want. I have a license for that gun. I don't care if you have a license for that gun, licensed or unlicensed. Your son has access to it, and I... You seem to be in complete denial of any possibility that something could go terribly wrong here. I know my son, okay? My son would never shoot anyone. At the very least, until this situation is resolved, you might want to take the gun out of the house. The gun is for our protection. Did you know that people who keep a gun at home for self-protection are 43 times more likely to kill themselves, a family member, or an acquaintance than to be killed by an armed intruder? Do you know that guns don't kill people? People kill people. People with guns kill people. Gentlemen. No, is it too much to ask this man to admit that his son has a problem and take some action? Oh, I'm going to take action, all right. I'm not going to be forced to give up my right to bear arms. And I'm not going to have my back pushed up against the wall by some lame assistant principal and a minister who's got friends in the police department. What I am going to do is call the school board and the chief of police because this is harassment. And furthermore, I'm going to take my son out of this school. I'm going to put him in a private school where he, he won't be treated like some common criminal. The public school system has failed my son and failed my family. And if this is what I get for my tax dollars, then forget it. Come on, son, we're done here.